An arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, commonly will include uh, what are called flag outputs. Now, a flag is nothing more than a one-bit or a two-bit output that indicates the result of some operation. Uh, for example, it's very common to have what's called a zero flag. This is a one-bit flag that will be true if the output of the arithmetic logic unit is zero. Well, for example, if you input a one on A and one on B, and you set the ALU to subtract one from the other, then the output is zero. And we would also set the zero flag to true. Now we use flags in order to make other um, sub-circuits simpler. But for example, it's much simpler to check for a single bit zero flag elsewhere in our device than to try to determine if the output of a 32-bit uh, ALU is zero. Now for lab 18, you're required to take your ALU that you, that you created for lab 17 and generate two output flags. The first one is a zero flag and it should go high anytime the output of your ALU is zero. Now the other flag is a two-bit flag. It's a compare flag and it should have or it should be set to one one if input A and input B are equal. It should be set to one zero if input A is higher than input B and it should be set to zero one if input B is higher than input A. Now that's about it for this lab. Actually there's not much else to do with it. There are no sample files because everything that you're going to do will be built upon what you did for lab 17. Now I will show you a a sample output. I've opened up my command prompt again and I'm looking now at the iVerilog source file or source directory. You can see I've got lab 18 set up in there. So let me compile this. iVerilog uh, lab18.alu.v and lab 18.alu.tb.v uh Oh, which one? Oh, I had a typo there. I said lab 13. That should be 18. There we go. And I do a dot out. And you'll see here that I do have inputs A and B, a select bit, a mode bit. That's just like I did for lab 17. You'll see also, though, that I have that compare two-bit flag and the zero flag. Um, I have then the output and the expected. And you can see down through there that every place the output is zero, that the zero flag uh, does show up to be one. You can also see that the compare flag works. It compares input A and input B. That's about it for this lab. Good luck with it. I'll be seeing you online.